So, last class we were dealing with the problem of uh, trying to define a uniform measure on the 0 1 interval right. So, we said 0 1 interval is of course, an uncountable set it is an uncountable sample space uh, and we were trying to see if a translationally invariant measure uh, uniform measure uh, could be defined on the 0 1 uh, interval. So, it so happened that we stated an impossibility result. So, we, we said that if you want to define this uniform measure on all subsets of the 0 1 interval right to assign measures for all uniform uh, or for all subsets of this uh, 0 1 interval this uniform measure is not possible right. Uh, so, that is the impossibility result we saw. We saw. Uh, so, what the impossibility result says is that even something as simple as intuitively simple as uniform measure cannot be defined on 2 power omega right when omega is uncountable like 0 1 interval. So, we have to. So, what this says is that if you want to define a uniform measure on 0 1 you have to make a compromise and work with a smaller sigma algebra right this is what the, the conclusion was at the end of the last class right. So, now the question the question that arises it what should be the smaller sigma algebra right. So, if you take 0 1 2 power omega is this 2 richer class of sets to assign probabilities to or assign, assign this measure to. So, we have to settle for a smaller sigma algebra and what should the smaller sigma algebra be. So, um, you have this 0 1 interval right. Uh, so, you want to include as your interesting sets sub intervals of this intervals right. So, you want all intervals uh, of the form a b or closed a closed b open here closed here you want those sets to be uh, considered interesting sets right. You want those intervals sub intervals of 0 1 to be in your sigma algebra right. But in order to see the sub interval, sub interval the set of all the collection of all sub intervals of 0 1 do not make a sigma algebra right. So, if I take an interval like a b the complement is not an interval right for example. So, in order to make this a sigma algebra it has to be closed under complementation and countable unions countable intersection right. So, that is what we are building towards right we want a sigma algebra which contains all the intervals and therefore, contains all complements of intervals and countable unions of intervals correct. And that sigma algebra we are build, building up towards is called Borel sigma algebra ok. Now, but, but we have to do this formally all right. So, this is uh, th this is the topic now ok. So, this is called generating so ge generated sigma algebras. So, what you what you have is the following let us see this is scripted C ok be an arbitrary collection of subsets of omega. So, you are given some arbitrary collection of subsets of omega ok the scripted C. Uh, so, this C you should intuitively think of as being your interesting subsets the subsets you want to keep in your smaller sigma algebra right. So, what you are looking for is you have you, are, you have decided that this collection C of subsets is interesting to you. For example, in the 0 1 case we said it should be intervals sub intervals of 0 1 right. So, the C is that collection that is that you think is interesting to you. Now, you want to generate a sigma algebra which contains all the C all the elements of C ok, but, but the C is the C need not be a sigma algebra right C is just a collection of interesting subsets, but you have to make a sigma algebra from it right you have to generate a sigma algebra from it and what you want to do is you want to generate the smallest sigma algebra right the simplest sigma algebra in some sense that contains all elements of C that is your task ok. Is, is it clear what we are trying to do? So, in the case of intervals sub intervals of 0 1 you want to look for the smallest sigma algebra that contains all intervals ok. So, ok. So, let us keep it more abstract at this point let us see let omega be some sample space 
and C is some arbitrary collection of subsets okay and you want to define the smallest sigma algebra that contains all subsets in C right okay. So, there is a theorem that I am going to state it is a very simple theorem uh, it says that there exists a unique sigma algebra which which is the smallest sigma algebra that contains C okay. This is actually a fairly straightforward result. So, I am saying that there exists a notion of the smallest sigma algebra that contains all elements of C. So, what do you mean by smallest sigma algebra? So, you understand see you understand the C is some collection of subsets I am looking for some sigma algebra that contains all these subsets okay, but I want the smallest such sigma algebra and I am saying such a sigma algebra exists right yes. Subset B seen as a elementary event in the regular sigma. No, the C is any collection of C, C is some arbitrary collection of subsets of omega and intuitively you should think of them as interesting subsets that is all ok. There see C is a C is scripted you see it is not a set it is not a subset of omega it is a collection of subsets of omega ok. So, omega contains all intervals of yeah no, now I am keeping it abstract, but in the case that omega equal to 0 1 you can think of C as being the collection of all intervals of the form a b right if you want a concrete thing to think about right. So, I am saying that there exists a smallest sigma algebra containing the C. Now, what do I mean by smallest sigma algebra? Containing all elements of C. Hmm? Containing all elements of C. It contains all elements of C and it is a sigma algebra ok that much is fine, but what is the smallest sigma algebra? Ha, exactly. So, that is so I want to define what do I mean by smallest right. So, I want to say that is if H scripted H is any sigma algebra that contains C then sigma C is contained in H that is what I mean. So, if you if you find any sigma algebra H which contains my collection C then what I refer to so what the sigma c is the smallest sigma algebra I am referring to and that guy is contained in H okay, in that sense it is the smallest sigma algebra containing c I still have to prove it of course right it is actually a very simple proof. So, is the statement clear and the sigma c is called so this is terminology again uh, sigma c is called the sigma algebra generated by C ok. So, I have to prove the existence of the smaller sigma algebra and that 
essentially the smallest sigma algebra that contains all these elements of C is referred to as the sigma algebra generated by the collection C. Okay. Everybody okay with me so far? So, the proof of this theorem is actually constructive. Okay. So, what do you do? So, you have you are given some collection C right and you are looking for the smallest sigma algebra containing this collection C right. So, what you do? So, the first thing you will do is go and find all sigma algebras that contain C. See on omega there are many sigma algebras right one such sigma algebra is 2 power omega, but there may be other sigma algebras that contain C right. You go and find all such sigma algebras there may be an infinity of them there may be in fact an uncountable infinity of them right, but you go and find them all right. Let f i i belongs to i be the collection of all sigma algebras that contain C. Okay, you go and collect all sigma algebras that contain C. So this collection of so this is a collection of sigma algebras. Sigma algebras are themselves collections of subsets, right? And this is a collection of sigma algebras, all of which contain C, which is the collection of interesting subsets, right? Now, is this how many elements will this? I mean, so this collection of sigma algebras, right, can have infinitely many elements. It can, in fact, it can even have uncountably many sigma algebras that contain C. Can it be empty? Why? Sorry, say power set will be there. Yes, yes, yes. So this collection certainly contains two power omega. Right, this collection of sigma algebras that contains C definitely has two power omega in it. There may be other sigma algebras. There may not be other sigma algebras, but certainly this collection is not empty. Right? This collection. contains 2 power omega and is thus non empty right so the claim is that so my claim is going to be the following so the sigma c that whose existence i want to prove as the smallest sigma algebra is in fact the intersection i belong to i this is scripted i uh, of f i. Okay. So, what am I doing? So, you go and collect all sigma algebras that, that contain C and intersect all of them. Okay. Now, what do I have to prove? I have to prove that this guy is in fact the smallest sigma algebra containing C. So, I have to prove that it is a sigma algebra first of all, then I have to prove that it contains C, then I have to prove that it is the smallest such sigma algebra. right? So, the three things I have to prove. right? So, in order to prove that this is a sigma algebra first of all, uh, you have a homework problem. right? The homework problem says arbitrary intersections of sigma algebras are in fact, sigma algebras. Okay, so you intersect a, an arbitrary collection of sigma algebras, you get a sigma algebra. You take unions, you don't get unions of sigma algebras. Don't lead to sigma algebras, but intersections always lead to. So this is, so this guy is a sigma algebra, very trivial. But does this intersection contain C? Why? Because each of these FIs contains C. Right, so this intersection contains C. So what have we proven? We have proven that sigma C is a sigma algebra that contains C. Now we have to prove that this is the smallest such sigma algebra. Right, so those two first two steps is very easy. I am skipping. I am not writing down. All right. So in order to prove, so let let uh, H be 
sigma algebra such that C is in H. Okay, now I have to prove what? Sigma C is contained in H, correct? How do I prove that? So, I am just saying that H is a sigma algebra that contains my collection C. Right. So, which means H must be one of these F i s, right. So, F i is what this, this guy, this collection of sigma algebra contains all sigma algebras that contain C. So, H must be one of the F i s, right. Clearly, uh, H is one of the F i s right meaning that. So, in order to write if you want to write this more formally there belongs some i in this index at i for which h is equal to F i correct. So, then uh, so this implies that sigma c is contained in h because sigma c is the intersection of all these f i s, but one of these f i s is in fact h right. So, you are done. Okay. Any questions so far? So, as an existence theorem right. So, given any collection of subsets of omega you can find the smallest sigma algebra that contains this collection right. So, the smallest sigma algebra I want to point out that the smallest sigma algebra that contains this collection uh, could be 2 power omega itself or could be some smaller sigma algebra right, but it is definitely well defined right. So, it could so happen that the only collection of only sigma algebra that contains C could be 2 power omega in which case bad luck right in which case the smallest sigma algebra that contains your C is only 2 power omega right, but it could be smaller there may be other sigma algebras that contain it right. So, the sigma algebra the sigma C is well defined ok as the smallest sigma algebra that contains my collection C ok. No C no sorry uh, C is some collection of subsets, right. So, what is your question? My question is if all F i s huh. must contain C for them to be sigma algebra. No, 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 that is not what I am saying. F i s are those sigma algebras which contain C. There may be other sigma algebras that do not contain C. But, but sigma algebra is all subsets of C and then C has to No, 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 no. So, sigma the sigma algebras are defined over subsets of omega, omega. and C is some collection of subsets of omega, correct. Okay, so far. You mean in this case, the smallest sigma algebra? So yeah. So by smallest sigma algebra that contains C, I mean if there is some other sigma algebra that contains C, that sigma algebra must be larger in this sense. That's all. Okay. Any other questions? So far, okay. Okay. So now, so this is the theoretical construct behind this Borel sigma algebra. So what we are going to do now is say oh, omega equal to zero one interval, and then define C as as what? Sub intervals. Sub intervals of zero one and then I am going to generate a sigma algebra using this construct right. So, I am going to talk of sigma algebra generated by intervals ok. In fact, so the sigma algebra generated by intervals is your Borel sigma algebra ok. So, let me say this uh, more properly uh, just for 
okay as a minor point so i will take uh, for to be pedagogy pedagogically sound so i will take open 0 closed 1 for reasons that will become clear later okay i am not taking closed on both sides or open on both sides and i am going to take c not as um, sub intervals of omega uh, sorry open sub intervals intervals of omega okay so i am going to take open 0 closed 1 as my sample space not such a big deal I will tell you why I am doing this and I am going to take open sub intervals of this uh, in interval as my C naught ok C naught is my interesting collection and I am looking for the sigma algebra the smallest sigma algebra that contains all my open intervals ok now I am having only open intervals ok definition sigma c naught is called the Borel sigma algebra on 0 1 denoted by scripted b 0 1 ok. Again this Borel sigma algebra is a collection of subsets right. So, I have to use it use scripts to denote it scripted letters to denote it. So, I denote it by scripted b of 0 1 just to make sure that we know what interval we are talking about ok. and elements of B 0 1 are called Borel measurable sets or simply Borel sets. Okay. So this everybody understands C naught is the collection of all open intervals in 0, 1. That is my collection, that is like my collection C here. And obviously there exists a smallest sigma algebra that contains all my open intervals by that theorem, right? It is uniquely defined. That sigma algebra is called Borel sigma algebra on 0 1 ok. It is a well defined sigma algebra according to this theorem it is a uniquely defined sigma algebra correct. So, this Borel sigma algebra will contain a number of subsets of 0 1 it will definitely contain all the open intervals and it will contain complements and countable unions of these open intervals right. And the sets in B 0 1 the elements of this sigma algebra are known as Borel measurable sets just like elements of any sigma algebra f are called f measurable sets. Now, this f is the Borel sigma algebra. So, we call it Borel measurable sets or simply Borel sets ok. So, a Borel set is what? It is an element of the Borel sigma algebra. A Borel set is the element of Borel sigma algebra and the Borel sigma algebra is the smallest sigma algebra that contains all open intervals on 0 1 ok. So, I think it is time for me to stop in a couple of minutes. So, <coughs> now we have to wonder what kind of sets that this Borel, Borel sigma algebra contain right. So, it may be that so you do not know that this Borel sigma algebra is whether it is smaller than 2 power omega for example right. I am this is I know that sigma c naught or b 0 1 or whatever is well defined as a sigma algebra, but it could be 2 power 0 1 itself right in which case I have ended up with again the power set, but it so turns out this Borel sigma algebra is actually a much simpler sigma algebra than the set of all possible subsets of 0 1 ok. In fact, this Borel sigma algebra has only as many sets as there are 
real numbers okay but you know that 2 power 0 1 has the powers it has cardinality much higher right it has cardinality of 2 power r right so this is actually a much smaller sigma algebra than the power set okay that can be shown okay it's a non trivial result but you can take it from me from for now that the borel sigma algebra is a much smaller sigma algebra than 2 power omega but the nice thing is it contains most sets of practical interest in fact it contains many sets which which are quite bizarre this borel borel sets can be quite bizarre okay even something like the cantor set right which is this very peculiar set you know that is in fact you can show as a borel set so there are many subsets of 0 1 which are not borel sets but thinking of thinking of non borel sets is very difficult okay it's they are all very bizarre so many such sets exist but it's very difficult for you to think of a set which is not a borel set okay so just mull over what kind of things this this thing contains okay we will get get back to uh, discussing borel sets in next class okay yes no the c not is the set of all open sub intervals of omega all open sub intervals of omega right so you say all open sub intervals of okay all sets of the form open interval ab where a and b are in 0 1 okay any other questions all right let's stop here